Welcome everyone to another episode of the show. My name is Zonabra and today we're going to talk about the news that popped uh, yesterday about the partnership between Blizzard and Twitch. The reason why I want to talk about this is that it is part of the expansion of esports as an industry and I thought it was very interesting to talk about as Blizzard has been a pillar in gaming and Twitch has just been crushing it especially since the time they got bought for one billion dollar by Amazon. So this video is really to give my opinion on stuff. If you guys want to react, feel free to drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this partnership, but I'm pretty sure everything is positive about it. Let's just start by talking what happened. So Twitch, the streaming company, and Blizzard, the gaming studio, owner of like Overwatch, Heroes of the Storm, Hearthstone, World of Warcraft, all of that, decided to do a partnership for broadcasting rights for uh, esports events. So as you know, Blizzard on all those games and all those events that are from the game, so like World Championship, Leagues and all that stuff, I will cite them after. But all that have a broadcasting right. Like Blizzard own the right because they do the event. And if I were to broadcast the event, I would be shut down. My channel would be deleted because, well, I don't have the right to do it. Because technically it would be monetized content. A little bit how YouTube works with royalty and like how people's content is protected and everything. So Blizzard started to do a deal with Twitch giving them two years contract to allow uh, third party companies to broadcast it. So Twitch will be able to broadcast Heroes of the Storm Global Championship, StarCraft 2 World Championship Series, uh, Hearthstone Championship Tour, Hearthstone Global Games, World of Warcraft Arena Championship. Overwatch Apex League and Overwatch Premier Series. So those are the biggest event that Blizzard announced for 2018 and 2019. I'm not too sure about World of Warcraft and CS2. I honestly think that those those games are going to die in esports and in gaming as they cannot renew themselves a lot. Heroes of the Storm, it's complicated. Like It has a very niche community, but it's not very growing. We're not seeing any progress from that. The two pillars of Blizzard is really Hearthstone. And Overwatch. So let's talk why this deal is very important and interesting to talk about. As you guys know, about two to three years ago, Blizzard decided to do a lot of things with Facebook. Facebook is a company that tries to tackle a lot of industry, and Facebook recruited a lot of esports figure like Snoopy, which was an ex CLG player like five or six years ago. They started developing an esports section, a gaming department, etc., because Facebook really wants to tackle as many stuff as possible. Because, well, they have so many users, they have to fulfill the niches, and gamer community is big on the internet. This whole partnership with Blizzard was allowing you to stream your Blizzard games and stream your games on your Twitch profile. So like you see on Twitch, you could just broadcast live on your Facebook page, on your Facebook profile. There was a button on the Battle.net uh, that will allow you to just broadcast onto your Facebook. You could link your Blizzard account to your Facebook account. We saw a little bit of people getting hyped about it, people broadcasting, but honestly, it was not going to take over. Twitch brand is so big right now and people are so loyal to it that it's never going to be moved. And honestly, now that I think about it, maybe Facebook should have been the one to buy Twitch. I think that Amazon is the best buyer for Twitch, and it was like three, to, three years ago anyway. But it's interesting now how Facebook is realizing the mistake they did by not pulling a trigger or not deciding quick enough. Amazon did the right choice. I'm sure they're selling tons of games because of all the creators out there. And I think that the partnership between Amazon and Twitch is working very well. But it's very interesting to see that Blizzard, that was putting so much effort onto this partnership with Facebook, is kind of backing off right now and deciding to go for Twitch. Of course, Twitch resembles a lot, a lot, a lot of gamers out there. Like, everyone is on Twitch. Uh, whether it's North America, it's Europe, and even now, uh, Asian countries are coming into Twitch. Like, they're leaving everything that is like Hitbox, Zubu, which had a lot of success within the Korean, the Chinese, and the Japanese community. Like, you guys know that... The biggest pillar of Azubu was SKTT1 that used to stream every day on that platform and since they moved to Twitch, a lot of people just followed along and moved to Twitch. We see a lot of people like streaming every day on Twitch and it's very hard to compete. To a point where actually Hitbox and Azubu formed and merged into one company to try to take over the second place together. They're not gonna beat Twitch. Like my point is that Twitch branding, Twitch brand, Twitch community is so strong that it's not going anywhere. So Blizzard is making a good move moving in to Twitch for this two years. Obviously, nobody is going to move to Facebook to watch esports events. Like, it's ridiculous. I don't even use Facebook anymore. 
But the thing I wanted to add to this video is that I actually think that Blizzard should consider maybe doing a deal with Twitter. So, as you guys know, in gaming, Facebook is not very popular. We we have such a big community on Reddit and we such we have such a big community on Twitter that Facebook has just been forgotten. Like we don't really use Facebook. If you notice streamers, influencers within the platform, within the industry, they're really active on Twitter and they're not so active on Facebook. Like you can see people with like a hundred thousand followers on Twitter and like three thousand likes on Facebook and the Facebook is not active at all. People like Twitter, like the gaming community likes Twitter because it, it is just what represents us better as a platform, as a tool to communicate. Twitch has been introducing, has been testing some live streaming stuff on their website. We saw a lot of like baseball, rugby, uh, some stock market shows with like Bloomberg, like they tried stuff. And recently I seen that they tried some esports event. But just for CSGO and for minor leagues of uh, League of Legends, like esports. Talking about like Malaysia Championship Series or something like that. Like it was a very minor, minor league. But it was still cool to try it out and see how Twitter wants to do this. And honestly, it's just like your Twitter feed. You have a little square here with like your stream. And when you click on it, you have a bigger player. And instead of a chat on the right, you literally have the feed of tweets with the hashtag. I think it's really interesting to see what Twitch is trying to do with Blizzard. Blizzard is definitely make a good move not to be just on Facebook because I think they just realized that this is not going to go anywhere and that Facebook needs to chill a little bit. And then they're trying to take all over the world for some reason and they're just freaking out and start to buy startups, start to make like exclusivity contracts and stuff. Blizzard is very wise just to back down a little bit, say, yo, what's up, Twitch? Let's do something for two years and see how it goes. Blizzard is not going to regret that. Blizzard is not going to regret that. But it will be also interesting for Blizzard to try out like Twitter, maybe like a little deal with Twitter. And I think this could mean a lot for Twitter if they get into a very full force action into gaming and esports. Like they have such a big community there. I mean, they have a big community everywhere. There's millions of users of Twitter. But I feel like the gaming community is very active on Twitter and it just like it just makes sense. Like in my head is like I would watch LCS on Twitter. Like, I would actually watch LCS on Twitter. I would watch some Hearthstone tournaments on Twitter. Like, it just makes sense in my mind. Let me know, guys, what you think of this, of the whole Twitter thing. If Does Blizzard needs to go and say hi to Twitter? Are they good with Twitch for two years? What do you guys think is going to happen to Facebook? What is Facebook going to respond to that? I'm very curious. Are they going to introduce new technology? Are they going to back off a little bit of esports and see what happens with Twitch? From what I know, Mark Zuckerberg uh, and Facebook like to go full force on uh, on attack mode. They're really aggressive competitors. So I'm actually excited and curious to see what happens. But I'm also curious of what you guys think. So leave a comment down below, please. I would love to have a conversation with you. Tweet at me at Zonabra. I'll see you for the next video, guys. Thank you so much, so much for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.